showdown between the Black Beast, Derek Lewis, and Alexander Gustafson. Best mixed martial artist that the nation of Sweden has ever produced. Former two-time UFC light heavyweight title challenger Alexander Gustafsson. And he hasn't realized the UFC title yet. But I know you guys will always have UFC 192. One of the harder fights of your career. One of the toughest nights that I've ever had in the UFC. And Alexander Gustafsson showed in that night that not only is he skilled, he's as tough as they come. From the war with John Jones to the war that him and I had to some of the biggest victories that he stood and he's won in the octagon. A very, very skilled striker with fantastic boxing, unbelievable footwork, and very, very underrated wrestling. One of the only guys that can say he's taking me down and also taking John Jones down in a championship fight. He really is the total package. I know he hasn't solved that John Jones puzzle yet, but truly a special striker. And in terms of the movement at 205 pounds on the feet, nobody does it better than Gus. All right, so here he is, one of the more popular fighters on this UFC roster, top to bottom, the heavyweight contender, the Black Beast, Houston's finest, Derek Lewis. Yeah, Derek Lewis is a phenomenal fighter, but he's just a fighter at heart. From the hardships that he had as a kid to his youth, developing and overcoming so much adversity to become a guy that has fought for the UFC Heavyweight Championship is truly inspiring for anyone that looks up to Derek Lewis. But not only is the story very good, the fighting skill is there to match. And he's got that old school, break your face open type of power. And he'll look to put it to good use in this matchup here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Gustafson is 33, Lewis is 35. He weighed in at 260 pounds. The reach is identical. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 18 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Alexander the Baller Gustafsson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. gets underway and you have to call any fight on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 to one And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Gustafson gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Good punch land. Perhaps a sign of things. 
things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the pin. Got a single collar tie. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Body kick is blocked. Let's get going. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing, overwhelming him with different attacks. Nice punch there by Alexander Gusters. Not much behind the takedown offering there. They continue to exchange. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Let's get him down. Oh, collar tie. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Gustafson's hook shot is blocked. You saw that coming from a mile away. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Well-placed kick there by Gustafson. Superman punch. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any hell when he's going to throw a big punch to the clinch. Just misses with the punch by Alexander Gustafson. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Round two is next. Stop. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Round two underway. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Nice straight right lands. Just misses with the straight right. Blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice, nice right here. Sneaky head kick. Both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he'll engage in a single follow time. Nice punch by the Black Beast. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Cutting down the sides with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. So 42 total strikes have landed for Derek Lewis. Well, not the most efficient effort today. The numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Alexander Justice. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Under two minutes to go. 
Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lewis. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big punch land. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing. Oh! Oh! Shoots right hand! Finish could come here at any time. Big what a round. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Three minutes to go. Oh! He's out! He got him! What a fight! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. We go to Bruce Buffer Ladies for the official decision. Referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 58 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Derek the Black Beast Lee. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of...